The meeting called by the federal government on Wednesday to discuss the national minimum wage for workers ended abruptly as leaders of organized labor staged a walkout. The labor leaders condemned the federal government's proposed 48,000 naira minimum wage. This is standpoint. I am precious, Amayu. The Tripartite Committee on Minimum Wage will reconvene on Tuesday, that's May the 23rd, to further negotiate a reasonable new minimum wage for workers after organized labor walked out of the negotiation. An invitation letter sent to the labor leaders by the chairman of the committee, Buka Goni, states that other members of the committee have agreed to shift ground from the 48,000 proposal made on Wednesday. The letter appealed to the labor leaders to speak to their members and attend the reconvened meeting next Tuesday. Organized labor comprising the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress have proposed a new minimum wage of 615,000 naira, which is way higher than the 48,000 proposed by government. The organized private sector, on the other hand, proposed an initial 54,000. After dumping the talks, the labor leaders addressed a press conference where they expressed their anger over the federal government's offer. The government's proposal of a paltry 48,000 naira as the minimum wage does not only insult the sensibilities of Nigerian workers, but also falls significantly short of meeting our needs and aspirations. In contrast, organized private sector proposed an initial offer of 54,000, though it is worth noting that even the least paid workers in the private sectors receive 78,000 naira. As clearly stated by the organized private sector highlighting the stark disparity between the proposed minimum wage and prevailing standards further demonstrating the unwillingness of the employers and government to faithfully negotiate a fair national minimum wage for workers in Nigeria. I have joining me um, a human rights lawyer, Malaki Ugumadu. Good to have you. Joins us via Zoom. I'm from here in Lagos. Good to have you join us. I'm delighted to be with you. Thank you. All right. So the, the federal government is now proposing 48,000 naira. Uh, the the organized, sorry, organized private sector also proposed 54,000 naira. And that's a really far cry from the 615,000 naira proposed by organized labor. What do you make of the, of the position of the federal government uh, as well as that of the uh, organized private sector? Well, let me put it this way. Um, minimum wage being the national minimum wage as prescribed by law, which is the National Minimum Wage Act 2019, is a function of a negotiated agreement. And this is the provision of section three of that act. In other words, for you to have a minimum wage, you must have had a meeting of the stakeholders. So it doesn't come as a surprise that negotiations are going on. What is not very uh, acceptable is that these negotiations come even after the time prescribed by law. By Section 4 of the National Minimum Wage Act, every national minimum wage is expected to last for just five years. In short, by fluxion of time, the existing minimum wage ought to be reviewed at the end of every five years. So, it is granted that the discussions are going on. When you're going into negotiation, you, you throw in all that you can to enable you get to your own target. However, the disparity, as you have observed, which is the margin between the 615,000 Naira and 40,000 Naira as offered, Mr. Malaki, go on, we can hear you. Not, it cannot be reconciled. Let us take it that the negotiations are going on. And I hope that it is in good faith. Uh, it will be in good faith when there is uh, 
some narrow differences in the proposals made. Uh, I imagine that the labor movement or the labor centers, NLCTUC, may have made their own projection in such a way that when the government is making their offer, they will at least come to an extent where they may accept it. Uh, the difficulty in that is that I have had some of their labor leaders, particularly the TUC president, uh, letting the cut off the back in a way that he kept speaking about the strategy of those negotiations and emphasizing that even if they mentioned 600 and something thousand naira, it doesn't mean that that is what they want. Once you say things like that on national television, you tie your hands behind your back before going into the negotiation. And I imagine that the federal government may have understood that clearly from some of their utterances, which I, uh, I didn't find circumspect enough. So now begin to offer what they are offering. When you make your position and your demand, you remain as fastidious and as serious as possible, just so that if there are going to be any shortfall, it will not be radically different from what we are offering like they have done now. So you could, you, so in one breath, I have made the point that this is negotiation going on. It is not just accepted, it is what is envisaged by the law by reason of section three of the National Minimum Wage Act. But I've also made the additional point that we, we ought to remain very circumspect in these negotiating strategies. Where some labor leaders will come up and be making public statements indicating that they don't mean what they are proposing. The government will be left with no option than to go as no as. Hmm. So let me take you, let's start with the, the, the delay you mentioned, Mr. Malaki. You talked about um, that the fact that we're even, you know, there's a negotiation way after the deadline to, you know, to set a new minimum wage you know, for the country. Is there any legal implication to that? Please repeat your question again. I apologize. Um, you had mentioned the delay in, uh, you know, in coming up with a, a new minimum wage um, as now that is even way beyond the time set by, you know, what is recommended by the Constitution and all. But I wanted to also ask you if, there, if that has any legal ramification or implication. Oh, well, uh, to the extent that the existing minimum wage has I don't know if you can hear me. So the extent that the existing minimum wage of 30,000 Naira has a lifespan of five years. To that extent, you could say that the government is not being very responsive and responsible in reviewing the minimum wages until labor begins to agitate. So the legal implication is that the law makes it clear under Section 4 of the National Minimum Wage Act 2019 that exists So, Malaki, your audio seems to be going off and on. Um, I don't know if you're muting it. Maybe you should try and unmute yourself. Your audio is going off and on. What is to be expected is that the labor centers will remain firm because what they are doing is on behalf of the workers. They should remain firm. They should remain strategic. And they must have uh, very fresh, dynamic ways by which they have to get the government to accept that the present economic realities cannot support the existing minimum wage uh, in Nigeria. Mm. And I mean, you cannot, you cannot be removing subsidy on petroleum products, increasing the tariffs on electricity, introducing all manner of levies and taxes, and think that you still remain at the minimum wage that you introduced some four, five years before those policy decisions are made. So these are the issues that ought to be pushed and presented 
before the government in a way that enabled them to secure the mm. So let, let's talk about the strategy of the of organized labor. Um, as a whole, they, they had started with, you know, about one point something, one, I think it was a millionaire they started with as the national minimum wage, um, cut it down again and then cut it down to 615,000 naira. Um, and that's what's now being negotiated. And many will say, look, the fact that you even started with one millionaire, which was unrealistic, and then, you know, continue to pull, pull it down. Even at some point, TUC was saying about 400, over 400 and something naira. Both NLC and TUC did not have the same figure. And many will say, look, at that point, government will look at them and say, well, there's no seriousness in this negotiation. Do, do you agree with that? All right, I understand that we lost connection with uh, Malaki Gumadu. We'll come back to him. We'll try and reconnect. But let's take